Hi guys, hope you're well. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, we'll be talking about top five tips from me that can help you secure a PS5. Guys, at the moment, as you know, it's a bit lukewarm in terms of PS5 drops, dates incoming. So I'm just waiting for more information before I make a dates video, notify you about PS5 stock, etc. Um, you know, there's loads of YouTubers out there giving out random dates that never come true. So I don't want to do that. I don't want to give you fake dates and, you know, fake uh, stock drops and things like that. So I'll just wait till I have more information and then make videos for you guys in regards to new dates, new stock incoming. But today's video guys is really important because there's no point guys, there is no point knowing the dates if you don't know how to secure a PS5. Check out these five top tips and let me know if you already follow some of these tips already and let me know in the comments as well, what are your favorite tips because they might help someone else. So please put in the comments, what are your favorite tips when it comes to securing the PS5 or what helped you secure your first PS5. So guys, if you haven't, please subscribe so I can keep you up to date with the latest video game news, movies, TV shows, anime, lifestyle hacks, and much, much more. So go ahead and click that subscribe button. So guys, number five, the first tip guys is make sure that your browser is up to date. Guys, I know this might seem like a weird tip, but believe me, you know, all those errors that show up on the website. Sometimes if your browser isn't up to date, that can, you know, impact your speed, the way the browser works and loads of things. I actually heard that from a friend. So please do make sure that your browser is up to date and let me show you how you can check to make sure your browser is up to date. Guys, let me show you how you can check to see whether your browser is up to date. It's really easy. You just go to the top right hand corner in Google Chrome, the three dots, go to settings, and then you go to about Chrome. You click about Chrome, and as you can see, it's checking for updates. My one is obviously up to date with the latest version. Just go ahead guys, click the about Chrome, see whether yours is up to date. If it isn't, just make sure you get the latest update. Also guys, the true browser is the one I use and I would recommend is Google Chrome. But a lot of people have mentioned that Mozilla Firefox is a good browser to use as well when it comes to errors. I personally would recommend Google Chrome because I always use Google Chrome. But if anyone is using Mozilla Firefox, that should work fine for you as well. Guys, number four. Number four tip guys, I mentioned this so many times, follow Twitter stock informers. If you've seen my videos, you'll notice that I always talk about Twitter stock informers because some of them are always on the ball. And sometimes they give legit information. Sometimes the information isn't legit, but it's still worth knowing. Knowing, you know make yourself aware and guys if you want to check out this video i made just press the i button that should be popping up on my video now i made a video saying top five stock informers to follow on twitter so please do check that out but at the moment the two that i'm using currently are at ps5 instant and at ps5 stock alert uk so do follow them if you can and make sure you turn on the bell icon and turn on the notifications for those stock informers as well guys number three this tip is really important as well because there's loads of dates that are mentioned about ps5 drops but the main thing the crux of the whole situation is that you need to know the time. The times are never mentioned, guys. No one ever talks about the times. And if you know what time these stores dropped previously, you can have a better understanding on when they might drop next. I created a document, guys, showing the various times that some of these places dropped recently. So please have a look, take a screenshot, and let me know what you think. Guys, this is the document I made for you. These are the most recent restock timings. I managed to get this from seeing all the various tweets by these Twitter stock informers. Please take a screenshot if you can. But as you can see, Argos is usually always early in the morning at some points. Like a lot of the Argos drops have been early in the morning. The game is a bit normalish time. Similar with Smith. Smith's dropped around 9:40 p.m. last time, sold out quite quickly. Amazon, 9 a.m. Curry's 1.11 p.m. Very 1.35 p.m. So just make sure you're aware of these times, guys. Another way you can see restock times, past restock times, is if you go to Stock Informer website and you click the shop and it can tell you when they restocked last time as well. So you can use Stock Informer to do that as well. Guys, number two, almost to number one. This one is really important as well, guys. Make sure your notifications are on in your phone. So when Twitter Stock Informers do a post, you get notified instantly. And if you're using any other PlayStation restock apps, they can notify you as well. So turning on your notifications is a big, big deal, guys. If you haven't, please go ahead and do that now. And guys, finally, we've reached the top tip. This is the one that I personally use, and I think I've used this so many times to cop limited edition items, is please set up autofill in Google Chrome. If you have a Google Chrome browser, set up autofill now. If you don't have a Google Chrome browser, download it. You can download it for free. But yeah, guys, let me show you how you can set up autofill in Google Chrome. So guys, setting up autofill is really easy as well. So hopefully you've updated your Google Chrome to the latest version and then all you do similar sort of process plus the three dots in the top right hand corner go to settings and you'll notice that there is an autofill section right here you click that and then 
you can just add in your payment details, whichever card you're going to use to check out the PS5, the addresses where you want the PS5 to be delivered to, and then click a few boxes where it says use autofill when making payments or doing checkout, stuff like that. And guys, also additionally, having an account with a lot of these stores from the start can help with the checkout process as well, especially for stores like Game, Argos, Curry's. If you have an account from the start, it can help with the checkout process so you can quickly sign in, have the password saved, have your email saved, username, whatever, and you can quickly go through the whole checkout process. So guys, that was it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you saw and what are your favorite tips when it comes to securing the PS5. Please let everyone know in the comments, as I mentioned, as it will help a lot of people out. And also guys, I'll be doing a live stream, gameplay live stream of Destruction All Stars soon. So please keep an eye out for that. I'll notify you on my Instagram page. If you haven't joined the Instagram page, the link is in the description of this video. So please do check that out. And as I always say guys, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll catch you again in another video.